As promised, here we have the Prusa XL official enclosure. It is something, isn't it? Look at the Bamboo X1 carbon on the left side of it. It is tiny. Nine, six, nine. So here we have the fully built enclosure which came in as a kit. I was expecting to spend less time on building it, but hey, it is what it is. What is more important than it's being sold as a kit is how it's performing. But before we jump into that, we'd like to talk about its aesthetics. This enclosure gave me some mixed feelings about on how good it looks. As starters, it does have a special look to it. But on the other hand, it does look a bit clunky as well. The way that the front panel opens up for the top is pretty good and it holds the panel sturdy when placed it onto the magnets. The bottom portion is also using magnets and they are really strong. Once they are placed, it is actually too hard to remove it, which is a good thing and a bad thing depending on how you look at it. It won't fall off by accident during print. But when you want to take it off, it's also not very user friendly. And because it's a non see through material, it makes me wish I'd rather have acrylic door panels instead. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints, or CNC millings in PLA, ABS, or aluminium, and a whole rainbow of color options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay, and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders, and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. To also mention that this isn't just an enclosure, it comes with LED light on the top right corner and also an exhaust fan with carbon filter on the back. In the box you have these parts that Prusa wants you to replace due to the parts that came with the Prusa XL are not rated for high temperature printing. I wish they had installed the parts for higher temperature filament out of the factory. Paying this amount for a 3D printer, I want it to be versatile. In other words, I want to print at least as much different filament as on a Bamboo X1 carbon. After installation, you must not forget to turn on this menu here. So that you can have all the options that comes with the enclosure. Do you really need an enclosure for your Prusa XL? I guess it all depends on what materials are important for you to be able to print. If you're pleased with PLA and PETG, then you don't need an enclosure. But if you want to print more exotic materials like ABS, ASA or polycarbonate, then a big yes, you do need an enclosure. So the comeback on the price point of this official Prusa XL enclosure, is it worth price tag? Then the answer is absolutely not. There are a few things bothering us about this enclosure. The way you have to implement the enclosure into the bodyboard on the back is one thing, but building it takes a few hours of your life as well. Sadly enough, the holes in the back of the printer are also not really helping it to call this an enclosured Prusa XL. If they drop the price to half of what it is, then yeah, maybe we'd be okay with all the shortcomings of it. But in this state and for 720 euro as a price tag, it surely isn't appealing. I think Prusa tried but didn't succeed with his enclosure. Hence, all of their previous models didn't have an enclosure. So this was probably a hard try for them. Maybe try harder next time, Joseph. In all fairness, I do love this printer. But don't think you should be using this printer to print higher temp material with it and force yourself to get an enclosure. Keep your money in your pocket and buy a printer that comes with an enclosure. Since the price tag is nearly a Bamboo P1S, which is a shame. The LED light on the top right corner couples itself with already existing LED lights, which is a good thing. If you have installed a camera that is low light sensitive, then it'll come in handy. We have installed this camera that works through clipper and the holes on the side really were handy to install it very neatly. As we were also having trouble keeping a stable connection to the Prusa Connect and Prusa Link, we found out that the Wi-Fi antenna cable was not fully plugged into the bodyboard and since we pushed it fully in its socket it's been a much better experience for Wi-Fi printing. Keep in mind guys this printer is factory assembled. So anyways guys I hope you liked this video 
and that it helped you decide whether you want to get this enclosure for your Prusa Excel or not. Don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to support us. Bye!